This is Tanner and Sarah Meyer. And how long have you guys been coming to CORE now? A little over a couple uh, years About a couple now. years, a little more. And what is what has CORE meant to you guys in just these few years you've been able to be here? First of all, you got kids, so tell everybody yes. how old your kids are and their names. We have a two-year-old and a seven-year-old. Um, Brody is our youngest and Caden is our oldest. Um, and then what CORE means to us is um, really and truly hope, healing, peace, and purpose. I mean, when we walk through the front doors, we feel overwhelmed with welcome. We feel we're greeted by name. Um, you know, we, we really do feel the love when we go through the doors. Our kids, when they go to CORE Kids, they are tackled with excitement from all of their friends. Our kids want to go home and read about Jesus and read the Bible and learn more. They want to be here. You know, we've gone to churches where our oldest used to call it a bad church and he would cry <laughs> oh, when we would terrible. take when we, when we first started coming, coming here, he, uh, the next week after he came here for the first time, he, on, we woke up on Sunday and he said, are we going to the good church? We're like, or the bad church. Yeah. Oh, so, wow. And that just says a lot about all the, the help that's back there in kids and what they do for those kids is amazing. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you guys saying that because kids are so critically important to us. Now Sarah's in kids, so. Yeah. Now yeah. She gets yeah tell everybody what down. you do. You work in kids. Yes, yeah, so I actually work in the two-year-old class in Littles. And um, I'm, we're also in core groups here. And I'm also in a leadership group here. So that's been extremely empowering as well, just being in kids' area and watching everyone's kids here grow and just be excited to be here because I'm super weird with kids. I'm, like, very touchy. So during this pandemic, I'm going to try to be a oh, little, you know, yeah. separated, but it's so hard because I just want to squeeze them and eat them. Um, not awkwardly. <laughs> but, um, but our core groups and leadership group, I just feel like they just pour into us. We know that they're secretly praying for us even when we don't know about it. We get phone calls and text messages asking how we're doing and wow. going through this pandemic we just have never felt alone ever Boy, i feel like you have a team for sure behind you behind you, in your corner to go to battle with at any time so mm -hmm. i mean that is so here. important because yeah. during especially right now at any time honestly in our yes. lives but especially now so uh talk to us about what's happening in your lives right now in the midst of a pandemic how is god working what's this struggle been like for you yeah, what, what's going on so not a lot of people know, um, but our oldest was actually diagnosed with DeGeorge's syndrome. So that took us four or five years to even figure out. Yeah, we just recently yeah. within the last yeah. year and a half. And it's something they said it. that you need to know at birth because there's Lots years and years of testing you have to do that we now have to get caught up on about seven, wow. e seven years worth. Well, um, and going through that, we thought it was more mild because he doesn't look like he has a syndrome, but his is actually pretty severe. Yeah. So, um, you know, going through all of that, we have had our people here just, I mean, when we're going through an episode, uh, we, I just send a text to a few people here and it's like, whatever they're doing, they drop that immediately and just pray. And I can feel them lifting Caden up in prayer. Um, I feel like God right now is really putting the right people, the right um, doctors, uh, referrals, everything in place, because I truly feel like we're on a road yeah, for we healing. We struggled with for a long time. We went through a handful of pediatricians, e ENTs, overdosing yeah. him. Yeah, um, it's been a misdiagnosing been a long him. It, it's been a it's been a dark journey, but I, I truly feel like even though we can't say he's healed yet, I know we're on the path for healing, and I know that we will be a testimony, and Caden's story yeah. will be a testimony, and I know that we'll be able to share his story and change lives. Wow. I Man, I just love that you guys aren't alone. It, Not at all. It, it isolated yourselves trying to figure this out, but mm -hmm. you've got people surrounding you. That is so powerful. It's amazing. It's yeah, a good Yeah, at feeling. this point, I couldn't think about going through it alone or without anyone to turn to and talk to. And it, It's a dark enough journey that I feel like if I didn't come to CORE, mm -hmm. I, I don't know where I would be mentally. Because when I am going through those nights where I have just exhausted, I have no emotion anymore, and I'm just crying because Caden's is going through his episodes, I just send that text and then I'm instantly like empowered again. And I'm reminded that Caden's here for a reason and he has a story to tell and he's going to tell that story yeah. one day. Amen. On that we end. Amen. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys so much. You're welcome. Thank you.